Alright guys, here we're going to talk about the movie, give our review, two cents on The Way of the Wicked. To clarify, to the, clarify, The Way of the Wicked from 2014 with Christian Slater and Vinnie Jones. Yes, and I love Vinnie Jones. I know. And uh, I'm pretty into Christian Slater as saying, well. So I'm, I'm, not, I'm, this, not, I'm not sleeping on Christian Slater either. From the cover, this, this is like a slam dunk. I'm like, alright, what's this? Let's not even read the back, let's just watch it. And that's what I did. And uh, hold, hold on, so I take notes when I watch these things. These are my notes. I wrote down the quote from the intro like card. When the sons of the fallen came upon the daughters of men, they bore the way of the wicked. And my next note is, oh no! If you need a place to rent content, you better listen. We're Cannibal Video and we eat the competition. Because I immediately, the movie starts and I immediately go, my like, not a real movie sensors start to go off. Yeah. Like the first shot is weird and clunky and it's, it's Christian Slater going to a house and stuff and his windshield wipers are doing this weird thing that they shouldn't be doing. And like the quality of the footage and the way the shots are like blocked or whatever yep. is bad. And I'm like, it's like the lighting stuff's weird. Like it looks like a movie. Like you had like a good camera, like you filmed it yeah. properly or something. But it's like, you know, sirens going off. This is not a real movie. What are you doing? No, and right? it very quickly becomes apparent. And uh, I'm watching it, and uh, you see Christian Bale. Christian Bale. You see Christian Slater. I wish you saw yeah. Christian Bale. You see Christian Slater, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, how long is he going to be in this movie for? Because uh -huh. I'm, I'm feeling it's not real. Yeah. And then, like, you don't see him for a little while, and, and I, I was like, I think he might be done. And then for a moment, <laughs> you see what looks like a, a different redheaded pastor somewhere else, and I'm like, oh, is it going to cut forward, like, like 10 years, and it's going to be a different person? Because oh. uh, that would be crafty. Because uh, he's because he's on the box. Yes. Mostly him, only him, right? Yeah. And you're like, oh. Um, when Vinnie Jones is clearly like in it more, he's <laughs> yes. more of the the actual main character, character of the movie. Yeah. Um, and it's it's very weird. Uh, where do you want to where do you want to attack this from first? So the movie is about a. Uh, Should we say if it's good or bad? Get that out of the way. This movie is shit. I agree. <laughs> and let's tell you why now. <laughs> So the movie, the movie, okay, so just to run down why it's bad right quick, okay. or you, before I even give a summary of the movie, uh, I, don't know. I can do it. So the movie is about a, a character who, as a young age, is dating Vinnie Jones' uh, daughter. Dating, hanging out, whatever you want to call it. Uh, okay. They, they uh, are getting, like, get picked on, and uh, bam, like, you're, you see some, like, voodoo juju stuff happen, and the boy that's picking on him is killed without ever getting a hand laid on him for some telekinetic craziness. And you're like, okay, that was bad. <laughs> uh, and it proceeds, like, you know, like... And this continues later. for the entire time. Uh, yeah. Yes. Well, so, like, the flashback is Christian Slater questioning this boy. Yeah. And he's like, did you wish for him to die? Did you want him to die? Because he thinks this boy has, like, the power curse. He's got that shining. Yeah, he's got some whatever thing going on. He's got that shining. And he can do this stuff or whatever, right? Yeah. And that's our setup. Yes, and then we see X amount of years later, which turns out to only be like five years later or six years later or something. She like, says five years at one point. Something we're like, what? You look no. so different. It doesn't make any sense. And at one point, he says we had to move, and when they go to the mom's house, they film like in the doorway because they don't have another house. Yeah. Th this is like we made this movie, but like, yeah. like, like, like had a camera of today, and like we got younger, and we just made a movie, and like somehow we got Vinnie More Jones and Christian Slater. That's like the uh, level we're at. But you kind of wonder how they did get Vinnie Jones and Christian Slater in this. I know. Because that's weird. So well, they'll the, do anything at this point. The apparently. boy who comes back into our life, who is now a, uh, a like you know rebel. He's got his leather jacket and his bad haircut. Looks a lot like Vinnie Jones. Oh so, no! Okay. So like I'm like I'm like, I not I'm like so, that guy yeah. should be casted as Vinnie Jones's kid much more than this like you know the girl that is Vinnie Jones's kid. Yeah. Because when even when you see the mother, you're like, where'd that girl come from? They don't look like whatever. Nice. Yeah. Uh, not super important. Just something that I was thinking about. No, I like uh, it. There's this, like a series of tells throughout the movie that can like predict this bad ending. Oh, you predicted uh, this? Yes. Oh, I didn't predict this. Uh, I wasn't like happy about it, but I didn't predict it. Oh, the ending. I was I was mad to be right. Okay. But I was. I didn't have any predictions anyway. I was just waiting for it to stop. Being they framed the whole movie that this boy is is a uh, you know a telekinetic uh, yeah. you know, with evil demon powers that are inconsistent that can strike from any distance it seems. Uh, but really turns out to be the girl the whole time and you're like oh my how could i've ever predicted this 
I don't know. Maybe the idea that why would this kid have a gun at all? Why did he let people beat the shit out of him in the locker room? Like, there's these things where I was like, like when they first hit him in there, I was like, huh, he let that hit happen? Why yeah. would he do that? Is he planning on killing him? Because if he's planning on killing him, that's kind of dumb. Did he want to have proof that, that it was a fair fight? Because they're going to die by like choking on their own tongues. So, here's my issue, is that there, um, the way that character does the performance, uh -huh. he's acting like he's killing these people with his demon powers and is playing it off or whatever, right? Uh -huh. When in reality, he should be acting like, oh no, the thing that happened like once when I was a kid yes. is back. And what the hell, I no, came back bad, to this town, it's bad right? Script. It doesn't work yeah. when you go back. That's why there was no, like, I, I didn't predict anything. Like, I just thought he, like, doesn't want to use his powers because he just used it and, it and it was causing problems. And then they they hit him and, like, he, like, got emotional and, like, had to use his powers or whatever. I don't know. From, from like, there there's yeah. scenes where, like, he physically abused, like, he attacks the the ex, the, the boyfriend, ex-boyfriend, you know, whatever, the one that's dating the girl in the woods. He, like, sneaks up on him after he witnesses, like, her, like, you know, like, push him off and knee him in the nuts or whatever. Yeah. He like punches him twice and just says like leave her alone and then leaves and yeah. then like it cuts to like a uh, a wheat thrasher or something. Uh -huh. something he loved like, that wheat turning thrasher. on like the light turns on, uh, which maybe it still had a battery and, and that could happen. Yeah. But they like say very like it has no power. It, it has, has no, no engine. engine. It can't. How work. could it get here? Um, but still, it is the most silent thing in the world. Oh, that yeah. guy doesn't hear it sneaking up on him. And like Austin Powers falls and just stays on the ground for so long. It was just a matter of like, that could have been something done well, but it wasn't. Um, when that happened, it made me go like, okay, that, that's, that's where we're at. And he gets ground to a, to a fine mist. There's just nothing left yeah. of him or whatever. Like we could, like we could, and maybe we should go like scene by scene, in you know, at, you know, at some point in this movie, because it's so bad. Nothing yeah. works in the entire movie. Everything is bad. There's not, any, uh, there's nothing right with anything. No, well, the whole it, thing is from awful. the beginning, it's bad because you're, you're, you have a movie that is like not an action-y movie, not a real horror movie. Yes. it's kind of just a drama, and already that's bad. Because you cast <laughs> Vinnie Jones as one of your main characters. And Vinnie Jones is Wait. one of my favorite actors. When you I love this dude, and I think he's so good at what he does. And what he does is not be a wine sipping like, say, like sissy boy. Well, like, like what you know, what what is Vinnie Jones known for? Googling things, <sighs> reading books. Talking to his daughter over dinner. Putting glasses on so you could see. I'm putting his glasses on like my grandma and like paging yeah. someone. Like exactly. He's the juggernaut, bitch. He's the juggernaut, bitch. Like he clubs people down. Yeah. He teaches his son how to like do like yeah. things. Like he's a dude that does like awesome physical stuff. Uh, like in and almost he, all of his notable roles. And he might be getting too old for that, but a bunch of people that are too old for that yeah. ha have found niches in roles where they are functioning within like an action movie setup. Yeah. And they are delivering the lines and doing the things and whatevering, right? Yeah. So just do that. Be like the older cop. There's I think a younger even cop. Even if, if you're gonna keep it exactly how it was, change nothing, maybe have Vinnie Jones play the priest and have Christian Slater yeah. play the dad. Cause there you go. At least that makes a little more sense to me. Right. Um, I don't know. Cause you don't just, get. It seemed odd. The point is, you don't get Vinnie Jones to do this type of stuff. This doesn't make sense. No. He at one point, Christian Slater presents him with a duffel bag full of books, which he goes home and then reads. Yeah. Uh, like this is this is the most insane. But it's like a have. duffel bag of like like thousand year old books. That you're like, is this how you're transporting thousand year old books? books? There you go. All the books. He comes in with two giant bags, and like. Oh, there's a line when he calls him on the phone. He's like, yeah, I've got the copy of the book I gave you right here. No, I see it. Like, like turn to page 46. Like, they have to do some weird things. It's like, yeah. you have the book now. You gave him the book. He's reading the book. He just called you because he read. Like, everything is wrong with this movie. It's so good. When And, and when you think back I might to love the this kid, movie. when you're certain the kid has no powers, the, yeah. the, you know, the love interest rebel, you know, former was there, whatever. He's the most ballsy, dangerous person you'd ever want to be dating your daughter. He's clearly a psychopath. He must he, be. He, like, taunts you like you're nothing. Uh, like, just insulting everyone, doing all this shit. And, yeah. and his character turns, like, on a dime. Because yeah. originally he's, like, this good, oh, he's the, he's the introspective bad boy. He's probably a poet. Playing with he does this hair. and that. Yeah. Oh, he knows the answers to the science questions. And then it's like, I'm a thug. Marilyn Manson's playing. I do whatever I want. Like, and it's, it's just... 
Ugh, like, pick a side. It I'm just, doing this for you, he says, as he goes to shoot her dad, who yeah. has done nothing but, like, try to protect her from, like, persecution yeah. by the police and, like, getting I into almost, the bad situation. I almost wanted there to be some, like, some more deeper thing, like, like, maybe they both have powers. Maybe he killed her mother in that car. Because, like, you see from, like, from where, yes. like, they, like, she attempted to kill Christian Slater uh, and then killed Christian Slater from where? You don't, like, like, no. like it's just... Uh, do they that, even that car do, business? Do I don't they think they ever call one? back to the car. No, one. I think they call back sense. to the the choking with they the do. rosary. And, and and her head is like poking through a hole in the wall, like a like a window that's partially covered, so it looks so goofy. It's amazing. I didn't even take that to be what okay. it was. I took that to be just poor CG, like like compositing. Like yeah. she's actually over there, but we're just gonna show her like in this fucking stupid horrible thing. Great. Like, that that's one of those like this is so bad. I don't know what's going on. I moments. can't tell what you're going for here, movie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I basically wrote down all the beats of this movie, and I was like furious the entire time. No, I, it, I, I have was, no idea what's I going on. I was very disappointed in this movie because I just I went into it very optimistic. I liked the That's characters. A uh, whenever you have like a character you like, you're like, all right, there's a chance this could be crap because you know actors in general need money and they do things, and some things are below them, and this, that, and the other thing. Uh, but when you have two actors that like, you know, I'm like, I respect you. Like Christian Slater's, and nothing against you, Christian Slater. You can uh, rent free whenever you want, but. VIP pass. You're 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 kind of you, in a lot of things. Um, you know, like you do kind of a Jack Nicholson impression, uh, but I, I like it. I it do. works for you. Um, but this, this was not that. This was something else. Did we peep the IMDb's? Do we see? Is he, is he just doing like every movie now? Does he have to pay off debt or something like that? I've not seen anything along those lines. Okay. Um, I don't think so. But. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe like do like Heather's Eight or something. Like, this is a classic example of like people, Bruce Willis has been doing this, right? Yeah. You see his big old head on the box and you're like, oh yeah, a, a name I can trust. And you get burned a few times and then a yeah. decade goes by and you're like, It's oh, so well. weird though because if you're, if you're a name, like, like when he's like Christian Slater, yeah. like probably since like Alone in the Dark, I've been like Christian Slater. Like, Christian Slater. But, if you got yourself, you rose True the ranks romance. to be a respected actor. You're yeah. in things. People know your name. You're like a mega star. Your name means something. You call for a reservation. You get it. Why on the like end of your career? And not to say you're old and you're gonna stop soon, but like if you keep doing this, you're you're you're, you're at the end of your career. And uh, <laughs> and it just it seems like he's he's like diving it down. Yeah, like why end it this way? I don't know. I would do like experimental things for fun to like stretch and like take risks yeah. and callbacks to what I was known for, right? But I also can understand. Who, I, who's I, doing that? Arnold, Sylvester yeah. Sloan, Dolph Lundgren, like all these different people are like, let's do some fan service over here but and then like let's Archer loop and stuff, and that was yeah. fun. Okay. And I can understand things like that, though, these yeah. like one day shoot, two day shoots, week shoots to get a paycheck and get out. Like I can buy another house. Yeah, all right, I'll do that. Bang. And I don't know what the budget of this movie was. I wonder. I don't know. Uh, I, I couldn't Didn't seem like it. there was a lot. I, I can't imagine that it, it is, it is yeah. anything remotely, uh, uh, you know, whatever. The guy, I believe the guy that wrote this is the guy that played his cop friend. Detective Fleming. Yeah. I caught that as well. Yeah. Because I'm like, why are you in this movie? Uh, dick, 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 dick. Uh, oh, it's because it's you're the writer. Yeah. And he wrote some other stuff. It's like directed by no one, apparently. He has like four uh, credits to his name. Yeah, it's and they're shorts, I think. Well, there's four Actually, like uh, not shorts. The, I or think whatever. the budget was like three million dollars on this. Well, I think yeah, I did see the budget. It's a, I don't know if I trust anything with yeah. anything. Um, it's a puzzle. This is like a puzzle to me. How this came about. This is your classic like weird movie. You get two copies of, and you go like, oh, that was garbage. Good. Let's let's shovel that over here or whatever, right? Yeah. How do these things still exist in 2014? What what were you doing? Christian Slater and Vinnie Jones were making this. Yeah. Um, so I'm thumbs downing this. This is a major thumbs down. Um, we could go on for literally ever. I think everything that happens in this movie is worthy of bringing up to be like, that was so bad. Yeah, like, like and it's just... Can you think of anything that's like... No, like, and his redeem, friends. Redeeming? If I'm his friends, I, okay. I would, I'm like, yeah, I'd probably be dead. Because, like, there's no way he didn't, uh, you know, in, in as, as far as the movie's painted it, there's no way that this telekinetic kid didn't just murder, like, like, attemptedly murder your friend right in front of you and then finish your job later. I'm like, I would definitely have had to have had words or do something with him. I'm like, and then I would have got, like, neck snapped by a telekinetic girl. Uh, like, yeah. it's just, it's just, it, a lot of this was weird. And I thought the casting was weird where I almost think that the, the, the bad kid, the one with the convertible, uh -huh. his best friend maybe could have played a better, like, you know, leather jacket guy. Like, there was something weird with, like, the things because... Okay. 
the situation, they don't line up. Usually it's like, it's like a tough guy and a strong guy or a big guy and a this guy and a blah, 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 and this. Mm. But like, I didn't get- Vince Noir and Howard Moon. I didn't get anything <laughs> from this leather kid that I'd be like, okay, if you didn't have powers, you just have no chance in a lot of these fights. That, that, that like, you know, like the kid that was like the varsity jacket kid, was like double his size. Yeah, he was like, much bigger than He him. looked like really a monster dumb. by comparison. Yeah. There would be no fight to be had. Yeah. And I know people are like, oh, you know, a good fighter can beat a big guy any day of the week, blah, blah, blah. They're kids. These are high school idiots, and yeah. it would 100% be like, oh, and the guy would be like, my head. Yeah, I mean, he's been away. What has he been doing? He comes back. No, he's, Again, no like, friends. the fact that he's not, fr like, think about how much more interesting of a movie we have if he's freaking out. Like, I thought I had this under control. I worked so hard to make sure yeah. this would never happen again. And now it's happening again. She's like, oh, it's okay. And you're like, oh, and like plants the seeds for this yeah. whole thing. Yeah. Like, he thinks it's him, but yeah. it's not, that would be great. And she's, and then you can look back and like find out that she's like creating situations or egging it on. It shows her behind his back, like talking, like he's being really creepy and all that stuff and doing all this yeah. Dumb stuff to and wouldn't you move have liked her to have killed her mom? Uh, or something. They like, don't even, because they, of how well they, they even frame go back the Christian that, right? Slater death, yeah. or attempted murder, rather. Yes, yes, um, yes. I'm like, well, that seems to be exactly what happened to the, to the mom. Yeah. Uh, but they never say anything. I'm like, maybe you could have done a thing like, oh, she knew, she had the power too, or this and that, or the priest talked to her, and she thought she noticed something, and you had the... Exactly. <laughs> something has to happen. Real quick, just so I don't, like, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, you know, Vane Jones is like, Robbie Mueller, why do I know that name? Or whatever. Yeah. And, like, this is a this is an unsolved, mysterious murder from five years ago in moment, your you town. you don't know that he's a cop. I know. And then when they say he's a cop, I'm like, and I are was, you kidding me? This was your daughter's friend. Yes. Probably was at your house. Who died. He, he committed a murder, potentially. Yes. And, and like, and it you're, was only five years ago. And your daughter has to tell you, he was the kid from five years ago that was at that murder that I was at and got all the blame for no reason. She has to, like, explain this to her own father. That's so insane the sheriff, to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. And, like, part of you is like, well, he's a cop, but he's whatever, whatever. No, when the other kid dies, he's on the scene. Yeah. Like, he's a cop there. Like, still. And yeah. then you're like, well, maybe they didn't live there or they had just, well, you know, you were born two years after my mom and I came across the pond like they do all this stuff to like work themselves into like a worse where there's yeah. no benefit of the doubt whatsoever they also from like a screenplay perspective okay so stuff's happening uh -huh. we're getting weird telekinetic kids things are doing their thing or whatever um, the science teacher is talking about the Drake equation uh -huh. and like life on other planets and like the possibility yes, of things and why like do that. they do that and I'm like that could only be in there unless you know and again, you either have to pay it off that like he's an alien or she's an alien, or you have to do the opposite of paying it off. Yeah. And have some scene about how I, you know, I thought there was so much more to it, but it's so simple. We're all just gonna die. Like do something. Yes. Don't just I, set I this up and do nothing. Like, that seems oh. like a clear misnomer. Like what are you? Yeah. Why are you doing that? Just like wasted screenplay stuff that has nothing to do with anything. I like the teacher, medieval actually. torture and all that stuff. I thought the teacher delivered yeah. a, a good line. But that's what I'm saying. The kid's just the most brazen, ballsy idiot yeah. because he has nothing. And, and he's not only is he is he taunting the father of, of the girl he's like going out with, yeah. which would already be dumb, because like a it can he's cause a cop. trouble, it yeah, cause okay. trouble between you and the girl. Yes, uh, you know a father could go crazy and he just kill you. He's also a cop who suspected you of murder, <laughs> which you should know. Yes. Oh my god, it's so amazing. And you're like looking up torture, which presumably uh, was actually for a report because that's not something you actually do. Which, it, well, again, like, if the deaths had weird, like, imagine another movie where people are dying in, in like, weird ways where stuff's, like, like going through yeah. them or some weird, their fingers, some weird things are happening that are kind of torturous. Some hellraiser stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then we have a thing, right? But, like, I don't even know why you would put these things in there unless they meant something. What are you doing? Well, you're like, this will be clever. People will think this. Perfect. You have to do, perfect. You have to have both bookends, or else you just have a bookend and a, and a tumbled over pile of books. Well, that's books why yeah, they, <laughs> they filed so hard trying to get you to believe this thing that you would have naturally believed yeah. without anything. <laughs> why did you do this? Yeah. And like the twist, right? So I didn't see it coming. The twist. And I was like, oh, what's it, going on here or whatever? But, but yeah, yeah. Even with nothing, well, even if there was no that, foreshadowing right? to this yeah. twist. It is the worst, let me just quick end the movie twist I've ever yes. seen in my life. And then you like have time to like reflect. So what's happening? Okay, she tells him, she confesses, oh yeah, it's been me. They kill all these people. And he's like, okay, I'm gonna cover up this murder and then we're going back to jolly old England. And that's, yeah. that's the resolution, right? Yep. And there's no like, like bookend text card. There's no hint that like he's either been in on it or there's any reason for him to behave no. this way. There's nothing. There's he was there to stop an antichrist, and when he finds out it's his own daughter, he's like, that's fine. He's like, that's cool. I'm finished right? 
he was just starting to like maybe believe in his stuff or something like that. You could have had some all you know awesome thing where some of the words that Christian Slater said to him means something different now, yeah. or some cool thing, or like the inscription on the gravestone could have been revealed to be some or you could have, portentous. You could have said thing. how they were born on the same day or something because yeah. that was so important to Christian Slater's character that it didn't seem to like. You think, oh God! You think him being the worst cop ever, or whatever, be like, "Hey, man, my daughter was born on that day." We're too. finding more things. I I have so many notes of bad things, and this wasn't one of them. There's so many bad things in this movie. Um, yeah, right. Those are just like the main things that yeah, like come it's not to even mind. Worth I don't want to move on right. any deeper because the biggest points are unsolved and stupid. Yeah, exactly. The little things don't matter at all. And this they, just, well, it's not even fun. Like, it's not, even, it's not even a movie where I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's yes. bad, but like, oh, these scenes are good, the acting is good, this and that. I'm like, no, it's miscasted, it's poorly written, it's uh, poorly acted, it's shot like, eh. And, and well, like the shooting, it. right? So it, it, it has a, like, a, you know, like a thing where people would, people who aren't paying attention when they watch movies would be like, well, this was a movie, I guess. Yeah. Right. Which is awful. It's like it's like the this is the so bad it's bad thing. Yeah. Where like there's nothing. There's no fun. There's no redemptive thing. No. People die in these ways where you're just like in some other movie with some other treatment towards all this. Something could be a it's, thing. It's but, mostly nothing. Deaths, yeah. Really. Right. Uh, or not even deaths. Just weird things. Yeah. Scenes end and then pick up again in this weird flow that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Um, I hated this movie. Uh, yeah. No. I I <laughs> I, I, I was like. This was a chore. Yeah. I was like, come on, why is this happening? Why, why is this movie so bad? Ah, oh, it's a slow day and I'm watching slow movies. Yeah. Like, come on. Yeah, all right, guys. Oh, uh, that's two thumbs down, obviously, for this movie. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments below what you thought about it. Don't die in a fire, and we'll see you next time. If you want to support the show, head over to cannibalvideo.com, pick up some merch. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, that's something. Whatever. Fuck these motherfuckers. Everything you need, a wide array of VHS and DVDs. We ate the competition, now it's only us. Our expert staff of